With the current federal budget challenges, sequestration is set to take effect March 1st unless Congress agrees on a spending bill. The Navy's Chief of Information, Rear Admiral John Kirby, explains exactly what this means to the force. Sequestration, should it be enacted, requires all the services to take about a 9% cut across the board in their operating accounts. For the Navy, this would be another $4 billion in fiscal year 13 alone that we would have to try to recoup. So somewhere to the tune of almost $9 billion over the course of the rest of this year, but we're already well into the fiscal year. Currently operating on a continuing resolution, the Navy is taking several belt tightening measures to preserve its operation and maintenance funds. Sequestration will cause further cuts that will drastically affect training and ship and aircraft maintenance. These cuts could also jeopardize future operations and readiness. Navy leadership is working to reduce the effects of cutbacks while still planning for the best and worst case scenarios, noting ships and aircraft already deployed will have everything they need to complete the mission. So I can tell you, Navy leadership, the Secretary and the CNO uh, have been focused on this uh, like a laser for many, many months now. Uh, and these decisions that they're making, though difficult, uh, they believe are prudent and the right thing to do. Um, more importantly, many of them are reversible. So that should we get a spending bill, uh, we'll be able to turn those decisions around, put the, put the travel back on, put the conferences back on perhaps, um, and more importantly, uh, get our training and maintenance into a healthier position. Admiral Kirby also said that service members do not have to worry about their pay and benefits. The best thing sailors and their families can do is to stay informed. For the latest news and information on sequestration, go to Navy.mil. From the Defense Media Activity, I'm Petty Officer Amara Timberlake.